everybody, my name is Lori and welcome to The Icing Artist. So this week I thought that I'd show you guys how to make a fall lily. Now it's a gum paste lily, so I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about making this lily and also how to dust it and color it to make it look like a fall lily. So let's get started. Okay, so to make my stamens, I'm using some thin wire and some brown gum paste. I'm going to roll my gum paste into these little balls just for sizing. Then I'm going to dip my wire into my gum glue and then poke that into my gum paste. And I've just created this kind of shape with it. And I'm just going to cut one little line using my knife. To add a little bit extra color, I'm going to dust the stainum wires orange. Now I'm taking a 20 gauge wire and this is going to be for my pistol. I'm taking a small ball of orange gum paste and I'm really just pinching it in between my fingers and rolling it at the same time and that's going to work my gum paste up to the tip of the wire. And you're just going to really want to gently work it up the wire without pinching it too hard. And then to give it a nice even consistency so it's not thick and thin different spots, I'm just going to give it a light roll with my hand. And you can set that aside to dry. Once it's dry, I'm going to dip it into my color dust, but first I'm just going to put a little gum glue on the end of it. Now you're ready to wrap the pistol and the stamens together. So I'm going to do this using a little bit of floral tape. And you're just going to pinch it with your finger and roll down the wire. And one by one, you're going to add each stamen to it. So just add the stamen into it and then pinch it tightly and roll your fingers down. And you're going to go right down to the bottom of the wire. Now for the petals, I'm going to use some orange gum paste and you want to roll this very, very thin. You're going to want to use two different size of petal cutters. And those will come with when you get lily cutters, you'll see that there's a little bit wider one and there's a thinner one. So you're going to need three of each making six total. And you want to put those under a piece of plastic so that way they don't dry out. And I also have this lily kind of texture mat that I'm going to use just to give my lily a little extra texture on it. So the petals look kind of nice and pretty. And to assemble it, I've just cut this little strip of orange gum paste and I'm going to put down a 24 gauge wire onto my petal and then cover it with this strip of gum paste. And then push that in place with my fingers. And you're going to assemble that using gum glue, glue as well. Now using a thin foam mat and a balling tool, I'm just going to push along the edge of my petal using my balling tool and that's going to give it this really nice ruffle effect. And this is the color that I'm kind of shooting for for my lily. So it's yellow in the center, so I'm using some yellow petal dust just to color the center of it. And then some orange color dust around the edges. And you just want to make sure it's really nice and blended and not like super two-tone. So I'm going to take a little bit of red color dust as well, mix that with my orange, and then just give it kind of a hit of red on the ends of the petals. Then using a brown edible marker, I'm just going to do these dots. I really like the brown compared to the black. I felt the black edible marker is really harsh. You want to set those aside to dry overnight at least. Um, now you're ready to assemble your whole flower. So just like you added your stamens to your pistol, you're going to do the same thing with your petals. So just add petals one by one and pinch your floor tape very, very tightly. And you're just really going to roll it down the whole wire. And that's going to glue everything together. So you just add the one petal. You can bend it how you want it to kind of go and then start working your floor tape going down your pestle and your stamens. So you're really looking to kind of stagger the petals as you assemble your flower. So you're going to use those three wider flowers first and then stagger the thinner flowers, the ones that aren't as wide, in between your fat ones. And that's it. Your flower is all done and ready to put on your cake. And again, this is a flower I used for color inspiration. And this is what mine ended up turning out to be. I 
love making gum paste flowers and gum paste figurines and stuff like that. It's honestly probably my favorite part of cake decorating because you can just sit there and spend so much time and put so much detail into it. It's amazing and I love it. But it is very time consuming as you can see with the video. Lilies do take a lot of work. They definitely pay out. They look gorgeous. Um, but you can also buy them if you don't want to make one yourself. I can leave a link in my description below where you can buy them if you don't want to make your own. But making them is a lot of fun as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later.